Hi, my name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. In this video of QuickBooks training, I'm going to show you how to remove transactions from QuickBooks Online. What you're looking at is the QuickBooks Online test drive file provided by Intuit called Craig's Design and Landscaping Service. I want to show you a couple of situations where you might enter transactions, realize you've made a mistake and you need to remove them. I'm going to click on the right hand side where it says checking. I'm looking at my list of transactions that I need to add to my register and I'm just going to click add on the right hand side. And then I realize oh no, I've just added things to the register that weren't correct and I need to take them out of the register. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to delete them from the register. There's a handful of ways to get to the register. One of them is to go to the right-hand side of your screen and click on go to register. If you're not in the banking screen and you don't see these different tiles, a different way to get to the register is to go through the chart of accounts. To get there, I'll click on accounting on the left-hand side of my screen. And then I'll go over to Chart of Accounts. If I just click on Accounting, Chart of Accounts will appear up here, so it's all right. The first time you click on your Chart of Accounts, you're going to see this truck and little note, take a peek under your hood. I'm going to say, See Chart of Accounts. I know that the, the register or the place that I put those transactions that I want to get rid of them, it's in the checking account. So I'm going to go to the right hand side where it says View Register. Now that I'm looking at the register, I see the transactions that I want to delete. I'm going to click them one by one. So I click on the transaction. It turns this whole box kind of a dark gray or dark blue. On the right hand side, I'm going to select delete. It says, are you sure you want to? It's downloaded from the bank records. Yeah, I'm sure. And I'm going to delete this one. A same morning message and this one. Yes. So I've deleted a handful of them. I'm not going to delete them all because this file will reset when I close the browser. I just really want to show you how to add stuff and delete stuff. On the left hand side, I'm going to click on banking. I can see the transactions that I had previously added by clicking the word add and then went into the register and deleted. They're back here in my banking to do list. A different way of accomplishing something similar. If you added something to your register by mistake, such as this $55 for books by Bessie, and you realize that you weren't ready to add it, you need to go back and look at it, or you need to change it. You can come over here to the Reviewed tab, where it says Books by Bessie, you can go to the right and click Undo. And that says, undo my, my transaction, undo the deposit into my checking account, and put it back here in my tab called For Review. So undo and undo. When I go back to For Review, everything is just as it looked before. That's how to remove transactions if the transactions you want to remove are banking transactions. Mm -hmm.